Let's get right into it. Number 12. The Toxic Pillow Problem You lay your head down at night, dreaming of peace and comfort, but your pillow has other plans. Many memory foam pillows are made from polyurethane and treated with flame retardants or formaldehyde-based adhesives. That means every breath you take while sleeping might include trace amounts of chemical fumes. Your pillow is literally off-gassing while you're trying to fall asleep. It's like spooning with a factory. Over time, those vapors can irritate your lungs, disrupt hormones, and mess with your sleep quality. Which is ironic, considering that's the pillow's entire job. So, if you've ever woken up groggy and blamed your alarm clock, maybe try blaming your bedding's chemistry set instead. Number 11. The soap that lies. You think your soap is saving you from germs. It smells clean, it foams up nicely, it's covered in words like pure, natural, or refreshing, but if you flip the label, you'll find an ingredient list that reads like a villain's resume. Sodium, laurel sulfate, parabens, synthetic dyes, and fragrance, aka mystery blend of whatever the company wants to hide. That squeaky clean feeling after you wash your hands? That's actually your skin barrier being stripped of oils and replaced with microscopic irritants. It's like your soap cleans you so aggressively it forgets you're supposed to survive the experience. Basically, you're trading germs for a different kind of invisible grime. Number 10. The Perfume Illusion Perfume ads make it look like one spray will turn you into a mysterious, seductive demigod. In reality, that mist is a mix of phthalates, ethanol, and volatile organic compounds. These ingredients don't just sit on your skin, they enter your bloodstream and stick around like a clingy X. Fragrance is considered a trade secret, so companies can hide hundreds of chemicals under that one innocent word. Some of them can disrupt hormones or trigger allergies, but hey, at least you smell like moonlight desire. Basically, every spritz is an expensive way to marinate yourself in mystery toxins. Number 9. The Cursed Coffee Cup You grab a hot coffee, hold that innocent paper cup, and think, nice, biodegradable, eco-friendly vibes except most paper cups are lined with polyethylene plastic to keep them from leaking. That thin lining breaks down under heat, releasing microplastics right into your drink. Congratulations, you just ordered a latte with extra polymer. Over time, those microplastics can travel through your bloodstream, accumulate in your organs, and potentially mess with your immune system. So, next time you grab a simple morning coffee, remember it's not just caffeine giving you that jitter. Number 8. The Nail Polish Nightmare Painting your nails feels glamorous until you realize the fumes you're breathing could melt brain cells. Nail polish often contains toluene, formaldehyde, and debutyl phthalate known as the toxic trio. They help polish stay smooth and shiny while slowly bullying your nervous system. Even non-toxic brands sometimes contain similar chemical cousins that haven't been studied yet. And that nail salon smell? It's basically the scent of volatile solvents begging for ventilation. Pretty Nails Questionable organs. Choose your fighter. Number 7. The Shampoo Paradox. You wash your hair to feel clean, but the shampoo you're using might be the reason your scalp feels like a chemical crime scene. Sulfates create that satisfying foam, but they also strip natural oils and irritate your skin, add parabens and artificial fragrance, and suddenly you're exfoliating your endocrine system. Your scalp absorbs more than you think it's like a sponge covered in follicles. So, when you rinse that minty, revitalizing shampoo, remember, your body's chemical load just got a little heavier. In other words, your morning shower might be the most toxic relationship you're in, and you keep coming back every day. Number 6. The Sweet Poison in Your Soda Artificial sweeteners are marketed like magical loopholes in physics sweet without sugar, calories without guilt. But here's the truth. Your brain doesn't buy it. When it tastes sweetness with no energy attached, it gets confused. Studies show this can mess with your appetite regulation and gut microbiome, like giving your metabolism a fake password. And then there's aspartame, the celebrity of chemical conspiracies. Once inside you, it breaks down into formaldehyde, yep, the stuff used for preserving corpses, and methanol, yep, the stuff that can make you go blind. Sure, it's safe in small doses, but so is standing near a microwave. In short, your zero-calorie soda might not be killing you, but it's definitely gaslighting your brain into doing the job itself. Number 5. The Deadly Glow of Convenience That non-stick pan you love? The one that lets your eggs glide around like they're skating at the Olympics? It's coated in purr, 
and polyfluoroalkyl substances, PFAS for short. Scientists call them forever chemicals because they literally don't go away. Not in the environment, not in your body, not even in your grandkids' grandkids. PFAS are linked to liver damage, cancer, and immune dysfunction. Yet they're everywhere from waterproof jackets to popcorn bags. Every time that coating flakes off your frying pan, tiny particles of chemical immortality join your breakfast. Yum. And the worst part? You can't really escape them. PFAS have been found in polar bear, blood, rainwater, and human tears. Probably from reading about PFAS. Basically, it's the glitter of the chemical world once it's here. It's never leaving. Number 4. The dust you breathe, the dust you are. You think dust is just dead skin and lint, right? Adorable. Modern house dust is more like a museum of chemicals, flame retardants, pesticides, microplastics, and heavy metals all chilling together like a toxic brunch. Every time you breathe in, you're sampling this invisible buffet, babies crawling on the floor. They're basically vacuum cleaners with lungs. The EPA found that indoor air can be up to five times more polluted than outdoor air because everything you touch, spray, or sit on eventually ends up in dust form, swirling in a slow-motion snow globe of contamination. So when you're cleaning your house, you're not just tidying up, you're staging a chemical eviction notice. Number 3. The Invisible Ink of Modern Life Now for the big one ink. Yep, the receipts you touch, the magazines you flip through, the packaging you tear open. They're all coated with bisphenol compounds, BPA, BPS, BPF, pick your poison. They're absorbed through your skin in seconds and can mess with your hormones, fertility, and even brain chemistry. Those shiny receipts from the grocery store? They're basically tiny endocrine disruptor delivery systems. Cashiers, by the way, tend to have higher BPA levels than anyone else because their job is literally hand chemical paper to everyone, all day. So yes, the future is digital, but until then, maybe skip the receipt and let your hormones breathe a sigh of relief. Number 2. The Plastic Hormone Party You know that satisfying crinkle of a plastic water bottle? Yeah, every time you squeeze one, you're basically hugging a chemistry experiment gone rogue. Plastics like BPA and phthalates are endocrine disruptors, which means they sneak into your body pretending to be hormones. They don't act like hormones, though they're more like bad actors in a school play who think method acting means breaking the set. Your body gets confused. Your cells see these chemicals and go, Oh cool, estrogen's here. And then chaos follows. These imposters can mess with reproduction, mood, metabolism, and even brain development. It's like your body's internal Wi-Fi gets hacked by a plastic fork. And here's the kicker. Even BPA-free plastic isn't innocent. Companies just swap one molecule for another with a slightly different name, but often the same creepy side effects. So while you're proudly sipping from that reusable bottle, the molecules inside are whispering, Plot twist. I'm BPA's evil twin. Basically, your water bottle might be giving your hormones an identity crisis. Number 1. The scent of slow poison. Ah, fresh linen. Ocean breeze. Crisp morning dew. Whatever name your air freshener uses, it's lying. Those pleasant smells are actually volatile organic compounds, VOCs for short, aka airborne chemical chaos. They don't just float around politely either. They react with the air to form formaldehyde and ultrafine particles that hang out in your lungs like bad roommates. And the term, fragrance on a label? It's a legal black box that can hide hundreds of undisclosed chemicals. So when your bathroom smells like lavender, what you're really breathing is a secret cocktail of solvents, preservatives, and hormone disruptors, wearing a floral disguise. Basically, you're not freshening the air, you're seasoning it with lung irritants,